Peter, I never worked on your hair before. Would you like me to get the curl out of your hair? Can you? Oh, sure I can. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go, hey. Good, good, yes. You know, I don't want to alarm you, but right here, your hair looks like it's getting a little thin. That's really true. You are losing some of your hair right here. It's quite all right. I have a name tag sewn on my scalp. <laughs> Kidding, your hair is very dry, Peter, and I really think you should do something about it. You do? Yes. What do you... <laughs> what do you recommend? I recommend an umbrella with a hole in it. Well, I think I'd just better leave my head dry. I'm just over a cold, and I was in bed with 102. In bed with 102? Yes. Did you go to the doctor, Peter? How else am I gonna see one? See a telescope. My, you know, my doctor hasn't made a house call in 20 years. Even his wife is out looking for him. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll tell you something. I can always find my doctor. I just reach for my wallet and there he is. Uh, <laughs> he's a wonderful doctor, though, especially if you want to have a $20 bill removed. <laughs> Don't you know that's what the prescription is? It's a note from the doctor to the druggist. The note says, I got mine, now you get yours. <laughs> you know, a doctor, I mean, a, a doctor shouldn't be blamed for charging so much. I mean, after all, a doctor should charge a lot of money in case there's an epidemic of good health. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, I always wanted to be a doctor. A doctor is the only man in the world who can tell a woman, take off your clothes, let me look you over, then send her husband a bill. <laughs> You know, the problem with my doctor is he's so very specialized. Hmm? Yes. Yeah. 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 He used to be an ear, nose, and throat man. Now? But now he's just a nose man and not even both nostrils. <laughs> say he's just the right nostril man? Oh, no, just the left. I mean, if he has to examine the right, he brings in a consultant. <laughs> a consultant? That's another doctor brought in to share the blame in case you die. <laughs> I know one doctor who's so specialized, he treats absolutely no patients and won't see anybody at all. All he does is send out bills once a month. Really? But who does he send the bills to? Hypochondriacs who are Christian scientists. They won't see him either. <laughs> about my doctor. You see, last week he told me, go over to the window and stick your tongue out. He wanted to examine it in the light? No, he was mad with the doctor across the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm on a very new diet and it's a very interesting diet. All you drink is tiger's milk. Tiger's milk. It's a little bit dangerous, though, because they don't like being milked, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just read in the papers about a guy who went on a diet, a special diet, and lost 135 pounds. Now that is really fantastic. Oh, no, no, it isn't really. He was only 130 pounds when he started. Oh, <laughs> that's not so good, that's not. Speaking of diets, you gotta be very careful. Yeah? A doctor told a friend of mine that milk, butter, eggs, and cottage cheese can be dangerous. And he was right. Last week, he got run over by a dairy truck. <laughs> here is always on some weird kind of a diet. No, that's true. That is true. I, I have just come off a diet and all I ate was artificial foods. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Synthetic foods, artificial sweeteners, artificial ice cream, artificial candy. Well, did it work? Look at that. That's all fake fat right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Dean. How you doing? Yeah. It's yeah. good to see you again, Dean. Hi, guys. Sit down. <laughs> And a shave? Two bits. No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't got time to listen to a shave. I see. Dean, would you like a new hair conditioner? Sure. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> get it? Hair conditioner. We get it. Get out. <laughs> Dean, we were just talking about health and body. <laughs> We've been hearing this all day. Yeah. That's right, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a diet right now. Yeah. You, you diet? Sure, I gotta take care of this body. Uh, yeah. I've seen better bodies on a used car lot. <laughs> if you want to go on a diet, I'll give you the greatest diet of them all. What's that? You go to X-rated movies and you eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> Dean, you sure you don't want to shave? Nope, I don't have to shave anymore. There's a new shaving cream called Reverso. Reverso? How does it work? It makes the hair on your face grow on the inside. All you have to do is bite it off. I Ooh! <laughs> Oh, I... Oh. Listen. 
<laughs> Howard, that you stay in such fantastic shape. <laughs> straight in this bit. <laughs> well, I see, I see my doctor twice a year. Last time I went, he told me I had an iron deficiency. I told him, yeah, but my wood shots are getting better. <laughs> ah, no, go on, forget it. Yeah. Well, you gotta take a little exercise. Really, I don't need exercise. I get all the exercise I need, Paul bearing for food fetish and athletes. But I did try jogging. Tried jogging and had to give it up. How come? Well, every time I broke into a trot, a police car would stop. Me. I tried jogging, but I didn't like that. I, I kept spilling my drink, you know? <laughs> that was jogging. I don't drink while you Do you know, Dean, that thanks to jogging, more people are collapsing in perfect health than ever before? <laughs> Did you read about the guy who ate nothing but vitamins? No. All his life, he ate nothing but liver capsules, liver tablets, liver pills, mm. extract of liver, and he lived till he was 106 years old. He did? Yeah, and it took three days to beat his liver to death. <laughs> I'll tell you what I do. I'll tell you. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what I do. Ah! What do you do? <laughs> I take vitamin E. I take it orally and I put it all over my body. It's supposed oh. to increase. That's true. <laughs> I think you. <laughs> you spoke about him keeping in shape. Peter, you're very active. Don't yeah. you take some kind of a vitamin? Oh, my goodness, yes. I take this one vitamin pill a day. Uh -huh. It contains riboflavin, iron, potassium, calcium, magnesium, pepsin, thiamine, niacin, and a pint of fruit juice in a water pig. <laughs> Yeah, but that's such a, an enormous pill. How do you swallow it? Well, you don't swallow it. You eat it with a knife and fork, dear. <laughs> well, if you live right, fellas, you don't need any vitamins. My no. uncle was getting hard of hearing, and his doctor told him he'd have to cut out drinking, smoking, and going out with women. Well, did he? What? <laughs> 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 Just to hear a little bit. 